Many people have opposing views about whether to purchase an animal from a breeder or through adoption. Coming up, I'll explain how both might be different than you think. Dogs like Asa are like a family friend to Morgan Maddox. Her family has bred boxers for over a decade and she understands more than most why people want one of their own. While some people have a bad perspective on breeders, Morgan says that people who purchase their dogs are inspired to rescue others. Well, they just love them so much that they want to reach out to other boxers that have not been so lucky, so they adopt them from um, battered homes or rescue shelters. Another option to rescue life and add a furry friend to your family is through adoption. At the Tuscaloosa Metro Animal Shelter, operations manager Jennifer Arp says the number of animals they take in each month depends on the season. During the, the warmer months, July, August, even into October sometimes, more close to 900 to 1,000 a month, we will say. Homeless animals outnumber homeless people five to one. Just one adoption can help these numbers. The number of animals adopted each month at the shelter averages around 50, but that doesn't come close to making up for the hundreds they receive. ARP explains the first step to preventing these numbers is to try to reduce overpopulation. There's not an answer to it other than spaying or neutering or not letting them, you know, be bred to begin with. Michelle Williams says that her choice for adoption had to do with a few different perks, the price difference and it being a great present for her daughter's birthday. I'm here today to adopt a dog for my daughter's, my 10 year old daughter's birthday is today and she wants a puppy. However you choose to add a pet to your family, consider these options to make sure the choice you make works best for you and your new type of friend. For the University of Alabama, I'm Maddie Walsh reporting.